Yep, I'm back out again this time. I'm back on the coast, Friday night again. It's been a week since that uh, top and bivy antics, shall we say. But tonight, I'm going down there. So this little place is here. There's one round there, I'll have to have a walk around the beach. Ah, and I've brought my fishing rod. Hey! Because I do a lot of fishing, you know. Oh, I just never film it, because well, why would you? But I thought to make for a change, make a fool of myself. Last time I was out, um, I was out down Blythe, opposite the Commissioner's Key. I caught two mackerel on these spinners I'm using. So let's see. I don't think I'll catch out here. Like I don't think these are recognised marks. I'm just chancing it. It's something to do anyway, isn't it? Just a bit of fun. Ooh, probably blank, so don't expect fish in this video. Unless I got to the chip shop tomorrow. I'll just uh, stop filming because this is a bit dodgy. <laughs> a little bit sketchy coming down here. There's that word again. I think the tide's going out as well. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose whatever spots I get. I've got to see if we can eat that. A bit of kelp to go with all my fish that I catch. Yeah, the mackerel I caught the other day, tiny. Well, they weren't tiny, but they weren't, um, they weren't keepers like. Look at this place. Some people might know it. Don't say where it is. I'd like to keep it quiet. It is now. It's wild. I mean, where did that come from? <laughs> just gave way, hasn't it? Look at it, it's all laid. It's just all crumbled and fell. Right, we're gonna have a look up here. There's a little, I've seen a little patch up here from over there. And then we might just cast into this, just to get the last of the tide. Just for something to do, like I say, don't expect any fish. I'll put a picture of a fish up. set up put a uh, silver minnow on 40 gram 40 gram silver minnow so I do a bit of spinning with this see if I can get out probably lose it on the rocks uh, the tides on its way out it was high tide about an hour ago which is ah uh, just missed it so I may get out on here just on the on these ledges yet and then later on get out a bit further on them rocks. Let me see how this goes. <laughs> That just keep getting snagged here, like definitely not not good pitches. I definitely need to be all with the back of them rocks. I might just bin it off for a little bit because I'm just kind of losing my gear. 
I'm not careful. It's bringing in loads of weed. Look, look at the weed it's bringing up. Oh, no. <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. If you find yourself getting snagged, don't don't pull the rod up like that. You tend to like pull it level like this or pull the line. Because you might just uh, damage the end of your rod. Nah, this is not a good point this. You definitely need to be over the back of there. So I'll have a bit of wander around, see if there's anything. Take walking our striding edge. Only more terrifying. <sighs> See if the tide goes out and the rocks appear and you go on the rocks, you've got to be dead careful not to get cut off. It comes around you, you know, and you can't get back when the problems occur. I don't know what this is like. I'm probably just gonna get stuck here. I might leave it later on. Quite a high surf, like, I think I'll leave it later on and then come back when that, uh, when this is, when this is free. Let's see if we can find somewhere over there then. Maybe a deep pool or something. It's not, uh, it's not brilliant, right? I've just thrown it up. To be fair, I'm gonna put the bivy bag in there. So what my idea is, if it rains, which is forecast, everything's gonna be dry under there. I'll put all my gear in there. Bivy bag, I'm gonna put the head end in, and then I can have the mesh open, and I don't worry about getting wet. So, top tip, if you're thinking about doing that, take a top, it's, it's nothing to carry, like. And uh, if you can get it up, you know, there's loads of different ways to get it up. If you pardon the expression. And look at this place, I've got it all myself. This is, there's a path up the top of these cliffs. Uh, a few people going past, but all in all. It's a popular area though, look. Look at that, man, for God's sake. There's tar bins everywhere. Honestly, just bag them up, man. Just bag them up and take them away. Tab ends, bloody bottle tops. There's absolutely no need for it. It drives you madly. A place like this. Ah, oh dear. Anyway, what I'm going to do is put my bivvy up inside and then I'm going to get a beer open because it's uh, actually only, it's only five o'clock. But it's not the point, is it? No. I've just come down. I'm just pitched up there and just nestled at the bottom of that cliff. Hope there's no landslides or earthquakes. Should be alright. I think the last time there was an earthquake here was the age of Robert Stevenson. Look, see anemone. Anemones. If you're lifting rocks, always put them back gently where you got them from. Gently though because it's easy to crush what lives there. Unless it's a sea snake, and then you burn it with fire. Fire! Fresh water spring. I think it's probably seawater though. So I'll not be drinking that. Oh, there's loads of anemones. Loads of them. It's pretty. Pretty remote beach this. Apart from that, up there's the coastal path. And somebody went past on a bloody trials bike before, man. Trail bike. Motorbike. What a racket. Man, he died. And there's the East Coast main line is about a couple of hundred yards beyond that path. <laughs> Don't expect a peaceful night. I sleep like the dead anyway, so I'll not hear it. But yeah, it's like a tidal pool, isn't it? We need it to recede out so I can get onto them rocks there. 
the far ones where the waves are breaking. That's where I need to be. But I can't get over at the minute. Nice little cave. I'd go and if it didn't smell of we. Somebody's very house proud. Look at this pan. Cave proud. Why would you leave a this pan? <laughs> Honestly, come with a breath because I'll show you why. And I've come up the cliff. Let me set up. See? Clever because that looks like a fisherman's setup and not a camper. Oh, hi. I'm not as daft as you look. Just kind of a wander up here. Let's see what I can see. So you get a viewpoint. You can see the lie of the land as well for the sea where the rocks and that are for casting. I really don't hold up much hope. I think it was more just something to do. Just to keep us busy. You can pitch up here. If I think, think somebody already has. It's a good spot. Pretty much on view though, aren't you? There's me down there. <laughs> oh, sniffles. Yeah, I get the sniffles when I exert myself or there's a um there's a bit of mist in there as well, which is setting us off. Don't know, maybe I get hair fever. Never thought of that. <gasps> there's a little rabbit just ran past. Oh, there's loads of them. Rabbit City. Hey, come back. If I can't have fish, I'm having rabbit. He's like, like hell are you? Whew, right, I think I've gone down and crack a beer. It's nearly six o'clock. That's beer time. I don't think it's gonna be much fishing like. See what happens, see if I can get out onto, see if I can find a lake. Do you know if I can find like a ledge and I can just cast into the breakers? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe a bit rough. You just don't know what's under there. This could be a new thing. Oh, it's so easy just to clip that um, spinner on. You don't need bait or anything. Mackerel season, the, well, it's not the season, but they're here. Two little ones yesterday, like I said. I might go back there Sunday. Let's see. Heather's in full bloom. Right, let's negotiate this cliff of death. Came up, I can't see how to get back down. Oh yeah, there's a path there. That's easy enough. Right. inside the sorting hat. That really does look like the sorting hat tonight. It's solid against windy, which is enough forecast. There we go, in there is the bivvy. It's for when the rain comes so I can have this open so I don't suffocate. It's clammy, you see. I've got the little top of terror over there so I can sit on that. I'll push everything over there. 
There are any bits and bobs in there. I'm gonna get my tea on shortly as well. I'm starving. Um, this is all the tackle I've got like. It's got another one of them minnows. A couple of weights and some mackerel feathers in there, which I probably not use them. Put the feathers on, just hold your a bomb on the bottom. Make a spare line on the uh, on the reel, I'll just cut a bit of plenty line on that reel. So that's it. And when I'm in, this is my view. Not bad. Eh? Bit of a strange setup. If it wasn't humid, I don't think I'd have the uh, I wouldn't have the top up for me. I would have the top up for my gear, but not for me. It's that humidity, I need that mesh door open and then if it rains it'll get wet with the mesh open, so that's why. Before I get any uh, criticism, it's all about the humidity. And it is really humid. Here I am, right out where I was pointing before. Breakers are huge. Watch this. Good, uh, it's a good surf break, isn't it? I'm in a bit of bloody nowhere here. I've climbed all the way with them rocks. And the tent's right up there, the top. I'm just gonna launch out here. Probably get stuck again. Get the minnow out. Where should we go? Not there. I have a feeling this might get snagged as well. There's loads of seaweed. So you drag it and then let it drop. Drag it. Let it drop. The tide is going out. I checked. Can't really see the line. Oh yeah. What you do when you spin, it's not deep enough. It's not deep enough and uh look at that. I think it's a I think it's a cod. It's definitely a cod. It's a whopper. Whatever it is. It's an absolute whopper. Yes! Look at that. Hey don't knock it, you can eat that seaweed. This one. Uh, Nice, salty. Pfft, don't know about the pollution, that's the only problem. I'll have another chuck, I'm gonna get wet here. Quite wild to see, like. Surprised there's not loads of crabs in that broken up. I would die if I caught fishing, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I've got no preparation, nothing to cook it with. I've got my knife, I'll probably just let it go. Imagine I catch the best fish ever and have to let it go. <laughs> yeah, it's just a load of kelp. It's not much cop, is it? Right. Yeah, soaked. I'm not having much luck, as expected, like. It's wild. Wild, wild, wild. More kelp, more seaweed, whatever you want to call it. Somebody's hair, that, isn't it? Well, I caught a fish. Ah, don't, don't, don't. Catch and release. Ah, there you go. A good deed for the day. It was beached, it was on the rocks. 
Look at that. This was built in the Viking times by King Alfred. And he uh, cooked his bread in here and burnt the cakes. Or the bread. One of the two. This is a bit dicey. Look at that, what the hell is it? It's like an old brick kiln, isn't it? Could be. May not be. Nobody knows. Ah, uh, but there's no marks here. There's no fishing marks. Like, there probably is out there, but... Look at it, man. It's too wild. Nothing's going to be swimming about in that, is it? I don't think it would be like that. But, you know, it's a good excuse. If somebody comes and says, what are you doing? Can't camp here. So, oh, mate, I'm fishing. This is just my shelter. In case it gets wet. Perfect excuse, really. I might be doing this a bit more. Bring, just bring the fishing out, even if you're not fishing. Set it up and then just say, oh, yeah, I'm fishing, mate. What can they do? Can't stop you fishing. It's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I'm going to go back now and uh, I'm going to get a beer and I'm going to put me, put me tea on. I've just got dehydrated stuff tonight. Can't be bothered cooking. I'm expecting real heavy rain later. So probably be stuck in that top for the rest of the night Let's see what happens the tide is so low when you think when I came it was right up here it was up to these rocks here yeah? I had to go like over there to avoid the water probably be back in in the morning I think this is the only one I can actually eat without being sick. It's all right, that one. Because a lot of them are not all right. Like the chicken curry, I can't bear that one. Juice for South again. That's me summer drink, that. God, love and hate. That faith in the future. God, that's boiled already. I literally just turned that on before I put the camera on. Got another can of shoop, shoopy doop. Oi. Excuse me. And a can of taxi. Aye, <laughs> cat. Aye, cat. Right, I'm gonna just pour this in then. Turn the camera off because I'll spill it all over myself. Noise. You don't want to hear that noise. Well, after having my tea earlier, and now I've had a couple of beers, I'm uh, just sitting chilling out on a nice bit of driftwood here, a nice log. I suppose, you know, it is the only fire pit around here, and it is kind of contained 
Mm, don't know. There's somebody over there, behind there. Because I keep seeing like smoke pluming out and I can smell fire. There's definitely somebody around there like. So if that's you, come and say hello. Don't be shy. I'm having a living hate. Sat on my log just watching the sea. See if I can spot anything. There's supposed to be like dolphins and that around at the minute, but I'm not seeing any. It's quite rough when that when that tide comes up. It comes here. This is the tide line here. Worryingly, there's bits of seaweed up here. <laughs> just, oh no, big crashing waves come over. Middle of the night. Boosh! Imagine that. How to wake up. Anyway, I'm listening to podcasts. It is the Chris Ryan podcast. Life or death. It's good. It's about army veterans and uh, like from conflict, Afghanistan. They've got people from the Second World War and that, and other conflicts. I had a guy on from the Vietnam War. He was good. Chris Ryan was in the SAS and he's interviewing them. And oh man, the stories they come up with are horrendous. Oh, I don't want to get into it, like you know, when but when you think the Taliban's back now. And all these guys going on about Afghanistan and Helmand and the, the lost legs and the mates were killed. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I was never in the military. I nearly was. I was that close to joining. But at the last minute I ditched. I was only 17. And I changed my mind in the careers office. <laughs> I think it might have been the biggest mistake I ever made in my life. I should have done it. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Anyway, somebody's been having a hedgehog on there. Last night they barbecued a hedgehog with some nice brioche buns. No, oh, that tasted. So yeah, I'm just sitting here. Oh, I'm just sitting here, chilling out. Absolutely lovely, just sat here. There was a little spit of rain before and I dived into the top but it went off and there's I mean it's dead cloudy and grey but there's no rain at the minute it's forecast according to the weather so about 11 o'clock tonight so we'll see we'll see what happens I'm ready I'm prepared for anything so what happens happens you know I'm not sure about going out tomorrow it just depends how I feel I'm gonna leave here head back down to mine uh, I've got to pick a few things up and then I'll see how I feel so this might be one night it might turn into two just solo nights you know what I mean I've got no mates now I've upset them all they all really hate me especially Tompo he hates us that much he went and bought a caravan caravan boy so oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit and chill out. It's nice like. I love sitting by the beach. I love sitting on the coast, just sitting watching the sea do its thing. You wouldn't believe that water was right up like oh, there was fish in there, just the back of them rocks, wasn't it? They're, not these ones here, the ones just the back of them, just that second row of rocks where the gull is there now. I was just behind there, fishing in that. I would gone out, but look at the, there's big tidal pools, so you can't get across unless you wade over. And I haven't brought me, uh, haven't brought me wading gear. Basically, me shorts. So I got a bit stuck. Right. Anyway, enough waffling. This is going to be a long video. Of this. I have to edit this right down. Right. We'll crack on. Put the podcast back on. And so the thing that's strange about it is it's then when you when I take these hands and then apply them to something I've never done before, I suddenly go, oh, wait a minute, you're disabled. Because I've become so used to them. Literally five minutes after I've said that, here's the rain. <laughs> oh, attempted fate. Never, ever say the rain. <laughs> there's no rain. <laughs> ah man 
Yeah, I'm not worry. I mean, I'm one of them people that loves the sound of the rain on the tarp or the tent. And you know, I'm quite happy just to sit here. It's, the, it's coming the right way, so it's not coming in the door. And I've got a big gap there. But I've done that gap so I can have a bit more headroom. Which I have got loads of headroom to be fair. Because I mean that little gap there isn't out. There's nothing spoiling. If it comes in there, I've got the busy setup. But yep, yeah, I think that's about all the film I'm gonna do like tonight. We're gonna find out in the morning if this is really waterproof, because look, I've got the bottom sticking out. I've done that deliberately. To just see what that what that baby's waterproof capabilities are this is the snug pack remember so yeah i crack on with the podcast i mean the podcast isn't even finished yet that's how quick that flipping what do you call it come on right see that flash in there you can't see that with your naked eye that's on your iphone I can't see it now. That means it's um that means you've got a app open. It's like infrared. Ah oh, listen to it. I don't mind all the rain and all that, it's just packing away in the morning. This is the pain. I'm prepared for it. Morning camera side high, nope, nothing, nothing. Zero. Bit of rain. A lot of rain. Rained all night. The bottom of this bag is properly wet, but inside, bone dry. So that shows that this is probably waterproof. Good news. Good news if you want to stretch the bivy. It's bone dry inside that's what you fit in everything. Oh, I'm just gonna uh, pack up and get out of here, make like a tree. I'm not hanging about like, I get, get away. Oh dear, that's about it really. This place is a mess man, look at this. <laughs> I've got to get all that away now. Oof, in this weather. And then the walk of death back to the car. Sucked. Tide came right up last night. It was right just down here. Just at the, I got up in the middle of the night. It was there. <laughs> it's loud. Anyway, let's get on with it. That's where I had me top. God knows where that's come from. I've left no trace of me, but there's bits of other people around. Like I'm not picking up stuff that's been in people's gobs. I got a head up there. And then back along that way, about a mile maybe. Probably not even that. Well, I think it is. I think it's over a mile. But look at this. It's not very inspiring, is it? It's not. Um, it's not inspiring us to get out and do a bit of wild camping because I know it makes sense. So this might be the one video this week. I cannot see his gun in this. Like I just can't. Everything's drenched in it. Everything I've just put away in my bag is soaked. A top was. Ah, oh, can't describe it. It's like it's been in the sea. <laughs> anyway, right, pick up thy rod and go. Blank this time, but I'll be back. The great philosopher once wrote, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>